Hey everybody, Steve Harvey here. Let's talk about something folks been whispering about for ages. The end of the world as we know it. The Bible talks a lot about this, especially in the book of Revelation. It's got all this wild stuff about plagues, wars and a big showdown. Heavy stuff, right? People have been trying to figure out what it all means for centuries. Some think it's literal, some think it's symbolic. Either way, it's got folks talking. Now, I'm no theologian, but I do know a thing or two about keeping it real. And the reality is nobody knows for sure when or how the world will end, but that doesn't mean we can't learn from what the Bible says. It's like a roadmap, giving us clues about what to look out for. One of the biggest clues, the mark of the beast. This little thing has sparked debates and theories galore. Is it a literal mark? Is it a symbol? Let's dive in and see what's up. All right, so what is this mark of the beast everyone's talking about? Well, the Bible talks about it in the book of Revelation, chapter 13. It says that during the end times, there's going to be this powerful figure, the Antichrist, who will deceive the world. And to buy or sell anything, you've got to have his mark on your right hand or forehead. Now, this mark ain't no ordinary tattoo. It represents allegiance to the Antichrist and a rejection of God. It's a big deal, folks. The Bible even says those who take the mark are condemned. Now, that's some serious business. So, naturally, people have been trying to figure out what this mark could be for a long time. Now, let's fast forward to today. We got technology advancing faster than a cheetah on a sugar rush. We got microchips, facial recognition, digital currencies. You name it, we got it. And that's got some folks wondering, could any of this be the mark of the beast in disguise? Think about it. Microchips are getting smaller and smaller. They can store all kinds of information about us. What if one day these chips become mandatory for buying and selling? Sounds kind of familiar, right? And then there's digital currency. No more cash, just ones and zeros flying through the internet. It's convenient, sure, but it also gives governments and corporations a lot of control over our finances. Could this be a way for the Antichrist to control the world economy? Section 4. Hold up. Not everyone agrees with this stuff. Now, hold on a minute. Not everyone's buying into this whole technology as the mark theory. Some folks say it's just plain crazy. They argue that the Bible was written thousands of years ago, when technology like this was unimaginable. They say we shouldn't take the mark of the beast, literally. And you know what? They might be right. It's important to remember that the Bible is full of symbolism and allegory. The mark of the beast could represent something else entirely. It could be a metaphor for any system or ideology that seeks to control people and turn them away from God. Section 5. So, what does it all mean? So, where does that leave us? Well, the truth is nobody knows for sure what the mark of the beast is or when it might appear. But that doesn't mean we should just bury our heads in the sand. We should be aware of the potential dangers of technology and how it could be used to control us. The Bible tells us to be vigilant, to test everything, and to hold fast to what is good. And that's good advice, no matter what you believe about the end times. So let's keep our eyes open, our minds sharp, and our hearts focused on what really matters. Stay woke, folks.